All right, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, um, just wanted to do a live stream tonight. I know it's, it's late. It's, it's outside the hours of my normal time. Normally, at this time, I'm doing the Angry Truth channel. And I was going to take tonight off, do tomorrow night, but there's way too much happening. So that's why I'm uh, doing it tonight. So anyway, let's get it out of the way, guys. Florida, C DLC, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. Joe, Joe. FW, WTC, Eric, Blackfoot, Michael, Grit and Grace, thank you for the 5x5, five five. Barbara, James, Brian, thank you for the 2x4, Lizzo for 2024, thank you, Dems, Lies, appreciate it, Cheap Girl, Pitak, I said that right, Viking Prepper, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. So, as it stands right now, guys, um... How do you say? There's actually two things going on. One of the uh, one of the things that I'm looking at is the retaliation that just went down with Israel. So Israel conducted missile strike on Iran, according to senior U.S. officials. Multiple explosions are being reported. Supposedly, they hit a few military installations over in Iran. Uh, Mr. Tank, GMA, Rhonda, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. Crow, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. Henry, Michael, Goldcoin, Super Chad, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. And East Texas, thank you guys. All right. NY, NYC Prepper says I, Israel is boring Iran. <laughs> Whatever the case is, that's uh, an interesting one. Now, of course, guys, according to, well, not according to, but an article I read, Biden stated that he was, he called Benjamin Netanyahu and that he was going to lay off. So a couple days went by, Dan Phillips, thank you for the 5x5. Five five. Um, a couple days went by and nothing happened, and then all of a sudden, uh, this bullshit. Now, we knew that they were going to strike, so I'm not completely surprised. But this definitely turns the heat up. Now, more information is going to come out about this, I guess. Someone just said that they're they're giving a um, a briefing on it. I guess on on a, on a few channels. I'm not on those channels because I refuse to be. But um, again, right before the airstrike, airspace is closed off several regions of Iran after reports of airstrike leading to a number of flight diversions across the country. Some flights are holding while others are diverting nearby regional hubs. So, that was very interesting. Also, we're going to get into this in a little bit, but the FBI, and, and I'm a little wary of the FBI and their bullshit. Nonetheless, I still have to uh, mention this. Thank you, James, for the, for the donation. For the Real Nigga Network, because uh, I am going to be out there a little more, doing you know doing reports like that, if you will, and not so much reports, but berating uh, protesters because why not? But anyway, supposedly the FBI is stating that the Chinese hackers are preparing to attack United States infrastructure. So Christopher Ray announced earlier today that the Chinese government linked hackers have infiltrated UF critical infrastructure. China is developing the capability to cause significant damage to our criti critical infrastructure at the time of their choosing, waiting for the opportunity, the opportune moment to deal a devastating blow. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something that happened earlier today. Because it's 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 sort of making a little bit of sense. What's going on, McBean? An ongoing Chinese hacking campaign known as the Vault Typhoon, has successfully accessed numerous American companies in telecommunications, energy, water, and other, other critical sectors, with 23 pipeline operators being targeted. This is from Christopher Ray. Now, for those that might think it's bullshit, and again, I'm always teetering on the, the bullshit. Uh, yes, Chris Rigos, I will... I will agree with you on that, but the 911 infrastructure in multiple states was attacked earlier today, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe yesterday. 
and a lot of the 911 system went down. And at first, they were reporting that the 911 system was a cut wire and that it wasn't a cyber attack. Well, later in the day, it became a cyber attack. And uh, now that, that they're admitting to the cyber attack for the 911 system, that could have been the Chinese cyber attack beginning. Now, if they are in fact hitting major infrastructures here in the United States, or rather critical infrastructures here in the United States, what needs to be done next, guys, is simple preparing. That's it. So I came on because I am going to do a, a, a few videos over the next couple of days in regards to this shit. Um, a lot of things are happening, and they're happening fast. So it, it's, it's almost impossible to keep up with what's going on. Not to mention, <laughs> holy shit, while I was going for my walk, you know, I, I ate my bullshit meal, and I went for my walk. As I'm walking the streets, I'm like, what in the fuck is going on out here? It was like Night of the Living Dead meets the Chud people. And if they had sex, the people we saw or I saw walking outside was insane. I mean, and I, I'm, I'm mentioning this because the synthetic drug problem is now what I'm identifying. I couldn't understand why some people are behaving the way they're behaving. They're behaving erratically. They are walking like they are... Retarded, no, stroke victims having a seizure while experiencing MS. And I'm like, what? I mean, like, people are walking in ways they shouldn't be allowed to walk. I mean, like, they're defying all odds of gravity, the way these people are walking. And somebody was talking about synthetic drugs earlier, and actually about a year ago, they were saying synthetic drugs were making their way out into the street. And that some of the erratic behavior we're seeing is part of that. So with that being said, it seems like all hell is breaking loose. On every front. And, not, and a lot of it is not connected, if that makes sense. So, yeah, some people like that, that flock of shit, it's something else out there. I don't know what it is, but it is something else out there. People are, I, the, the body movements that are coming out of these people are insane. I'm just like, how do you, how did they even, what? they shouldn't even be alive just by the way they're moving. What's such a thing? James goes, I'm 44 and Chud was such a thing. Well, it was a, it was a very interesting movie. I don't think we would see the movie the same way now that we're all adults, but anyway. A lot of this shit out there is, uh, is, is bad. Uh, Flocka was a drug. I don't know if it's still popular, but there's something else out there that's just really, really bad. Um, and I don't know how to really explain it. I mean, if I can catch a video of somebody flipping out on this shit, I will. Or if I can find a video online, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it looks... It looks not human. It doesn't look right. It's worse than bat salt, actually. Bat salt was crazy. So, right, uh, for the dog, the doggy's guitar, exactly. It's way worse than that. I, again, when I'm walking outside, I'm like, holy shit. It, it, yo, I, I got to film some of the shit I'm seeing. And it's just the way they're moving, man. It's just, it doesn't make sense. Like, we had crackheads, and crackheads used to scurry like little rats. <laughs> And you're like, oh shit, is that a crackhead? You know? And then they scurry up a tree. You're like, oh shit, there's a crackhead in the tree. But the shit out here, they're fucking all like, they're like retarded and shit. But like, if a retard was having a stroke and MS at the same time, that's what's going on. And even then, that doesn't even explain it. Uh, Todd Smith, yeah, I, it's something other than Trank because they're mixing Trank with something now. And I found that out a couple of weeks ago. So the trank that's causing the bacteria, the, the flesh-eating disease, right, is actually eating them from the inside out. People are losing limbs and shit like that because of this stuff. They're mixing it with something, and it just doesn't look real. All Good said, saw it on X, unreal. Exactly. Exactly. It, you can go on Twitter, guys. You'll see this shit on. You'll see fucking, you know, 
I'm probably gonna go to hell for making this remark, but how many remember the girl from Different Strokes? I think she was, uh, I think she had like MS or some shit or palsy or whatever. Remember she was the one that she wind up having a seizure, but she was all like, hey Arnold, how you doing? Remember her? That's what it looks like, but a thousand times worse. And I'm not breaking balls, but uh, I can't help to, la to stop laughing about it. But that's something similar to how she was. She, matter of fact, wasn't she on like, wasn't she on Facts Fact of Life too? The same lady that was like all like, hey, aren't you? whatever. Anyway, you get my point. If you if you see her, it's her times a thousand. It, it's it's bad, man. It's fucking bad. So anyway, back to the all, back to what's going on. Well, that was K teacher. That was my understanding too. My understanding is that they were going to wait, and instead of waiting, they said, fuck it, and then they, they just started bombing. I mean, they won fucking bananas. Like, it, it, it they won fucking uh, uh, bananas. But, yeah, like I said, I wasn't trying to, you know, like, fast forward seizure. Uh, no, not Dana Plato. They, they had another chick on it. She was like a... She, the, 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 if you watch Different Strokes, you remember the, the lady who had the, the seizure? She was all like, you know... And then when she had the seizure, Arnold was all freaked out about it, right? He was like, oh, my God, i never seen that before. And he was scared and shit. And they had a whole episode on, like, don't be scared of people that have seizures. When TV shows used to teach us something, now they don't. Um, yeah, and Plato's dead anyway, right. But not her. It was another lady. And, and I think she was, was she deaf too? I'm going to hell. Regardless of what's, gonna, what's happening, I'm going to hell for the comments I just made. But, um... Yeah, so anyway, guys, so not only is Israel turning it up, Israel's turning up the heat, and again, we all thought they were going to stand down, and then they were like, psych, and then they fucking just started bombing. Now we have this possible Chinese cyber attack coming our way. Now, I know a lot of you are, saying, are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. What if it's not the Chinese? What if it's us? There is that. But I don't think the United States is prepared for that. And not with, guys, the amount of migrants that are coming here. We have a migrant influx in this country that cannot be turned around. It can't. I know a lot of people are hoping to God that when Trump goes into office that he's going to turn all this around. He cannot. He can deport a few thousand, maybe tens of thousands, but he will not be able to, uh, he will not be able to deport, sorry, the amount of people that came into this country. Now, they keep saying 7.2 or 7.9 million people since Biden. Bullshit. We are upwards range of over 10, 15 million since Biden took office. Not seven, not nine, over 10. The number from what I'm hearing, the number that I'm hearing is around 25 or 30 million. The amount of people, guys, that are coming into this country is insane. And Trump can't do anything about it. So if anybody thinks that Trump is going to turn this around, you are sorely and utterly mistaken. Because he can't. He could stop the bleeding, like I said. He could definitely do that. But he cannot turn this around. Now, I find it interesting, guys. Oh, shitballs. The Republican Party is full of shit. The Republican Party is just as bad as the Democratic Party, except for they're using smokescreen and bullshit to sidestep what needs to be done to stop what is going on. There are states that told the Supreme Court to go fuck himself when it came down to the whole abortion shit. And there's nothing that can be done when states tell the Supreme Court, fuck you, we're still going to have abortions and all this other bullshit. All right. You got states that told the Supreme Court and the Constitution, go fuck yourself. We're going to do what we're going to do to make sure less people have firearms. Not that nobody has firearms, the less people have firearms. And or we're going to make it tougher for people to have firearms. And this is, it. This is states across the nation. But when it comes to guarding the border... Almost every Republican will sit there and go, there's nothing we can do because of federal laws. 
Well, how about you say, fuck federal laws, let them take you to court on a federal scale, and deal with it then. But you can absolutely right now stop people from coming to the border. Now, the Texas governor is actually doing something about it, though I think what he's doing is a bit of a, a, a scam. It's a smokescreen. He's doing it at one part of the border. He's having the TV crew film that portion of the border that he's protecting. Meanwhile, the rest of it is still running rampant. There are a thousand things you can do to stop migrants from coming across the border. And a lot of it involves inflicting pain, unfortunately. But if you want to make these people understand that you are serious, you have to do some serious shit. As my buddies used to say, you have to do some real nigga shit to make these motherfuckers understand that you are not fucking around and you do not want them here. So with that, guys, we have all of these people coming across the border. You have a possible, not, I don't want to call it a civil war because, again, these people are not American citizens, but they're here. But I can absolutely have, see them starting some shit. We have migrant gangs in New York City running around freely with tattoos representing their clique, their gang, their set. You have migrants who are outwardly running prostitution rings in the open in broad daylight. At least the hooker whores and back in our days, guys, they used to do it under the cover of darkness. Now these people are doing it out in the open. They are selling shit in the open, markets in the open. Matter of fact, let me pull up a picture that I, was do that I showed on my um, Angry Truth Report. I'm sorry, my, my Wednesday midweek report. I showed this. And this is the shit that's going on in New York City, in Queens, by the way. Now, they try to shut it down. It doesn't work all the time. I saw this, and I was like, yo, this is fucking insane. But this, guys, is stolen goods from Home Depot's, Lowe's, and hardware shops in the surrounding area. They set up their store, if you will, their store, or their free market, on Queens. And man against the masses. Yes, I'm going to get back to the whole Israel attack Iran. I'm going to pull up some articles in a few minutes. But this, guys, is the open market. The migrants are coming here. They're stealing shit. And then they're in the open selling it for a 30 to 40% discount. Now, I know some of you home builders are thinking, where can I get these tools from? This is the insanity, guys, that's going, that's part of going on here in the city. And again, the prostitution shit, I can't show you the hookers and whores because, you know, uh, Adriana, that is Queens. That is Roosevelt Ave and 91st Street to be exact. So... Hey, listen, if I had a couple of guys come with me, I would absolutely take their shit from them. Absolutely. I would probably even do it by myself, as long as I had backup. Just not by myself, as long as I had backup. But what these guys do, guys, is they, this van right here, for example, that the stuff is up against, he'll shove, he'll shuttle everything in the van and go to another location and set up there. Now, NYPD has been cleaning up the streets. I have to say that. They've been arresting the hook of whores, and they've been taking this shit back, but inside of minutes, minutes, this shit's back on the street. So they have their, their way of, of making this work. And I'm going to show you another picture, uh, or rather another angle. And this is more shit, more stolen shit, if you, bought, if you will. And yet, yeah, you wouldn't have to buy it from them, guys. If you were in the market for some new tools, just take it from them. Because they stole it. And, and, you know, and again, the cops are cleaning it up. They are. I don't know what the cops are doing with it after they take it. I don't know if they're giving it back to the stores. That's a hard one to do. I mean, maybe Lowe's and, and Home Depot will take it back. But here's the other thing, guys. And that's what I was thinking. Um, that's why I... I you know, need backup. I can't do this on my own. I could. I could do it on my own to see where it goes. You know, um, I could break balls, that's for sure. 
Uh, but a little bit of backup and I'd be squared away. Some chat of Iran getting deleted. Uh, Kevin, so yeah, they, I don't know what's going on with uh, YouTube. I really don't. I can't speak for it, but I'm going to tell you guys this now while I have all of you on here. I do not delete comments in the comment section. I don't. <clears throat> you know why I don't? Because I don't care. You guys say what you say. You guys disagree with me. You guys disagree with one another. It's fine. But... Um, yeah, man, I don't do, I don't delete comments. So YouTube is deleting them or, and not that YouTube's deleting them, but I also found interesting, and I have to tell you guys this, is some of the comments you guys are making on my videos are appearing in other videos unrelated. So you guys will make a comment and I'm like, this video had nothing to do with that. And I started noticing that a couple months ago. And you guys would be like, why are, are, are hurricanes getting tougher? And I'm talking about migrants. So the, the comments are being displaced, and that's a YouTube glitch. So I don't even think YouTube's going out of their way to delete it. I just think that uh, they have a glitch in their system, and comments are appearing on other videos. So just look into that as well. But I am seeing different comments not paired up with the videos. Anyway. Let me get what the fucking asshole. I'm sorry. Get my balls broken about bullshit. So I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, guys. This is, uh, this is New York City right now. And, again, it's getting worse. And this is only going to get a thousand times worse. Now, if these guys are going to start using protection and when I mean protection I mean in way of the gangs taking a profit from these guys to be protection or muscle that's going to be a bigger problem but um yeah this is getting out of control like I mean I've never seen anything this bad I listen people used to still sell stolen goods but not like this not in the open not in broad daylight not with every piece of, of item you stole on the fucking blanket or carpet or whatever that is. That's insanity. Now, like I said, I can't show you the pictures of the hook of horse, but... Yeah, listen, I mean, yo, it, it's getting worse. So, bad enough, again, right, the rundown, we have possible cyber attack, World War Three started, we have... The Indonesia volcano, which, by the way, guys, could collapse into the ocean and start a tsunami. There is that. We have the super volcano underneath California. I have to get their exact location. Scientists are, again, these fucking bitches, are nervous. Because if that volcano goes, it could swallow up a large portion of California. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, yes, fuck California. You do not want anything like that happening to any state, no matter how liberal it is. The world would be in chaos if that happens. The amount of shit that would go back into the air, the amount of food that wouldn't be grown, the amount of sunlight being blocked, and livestock dying, and people dying, that would be catastrophic. And the problem is, guys, it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time for some shit like that to happen. But, yeah, guys, if you do not mind, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I do apologize for the last minute uh, live stream. But as I'm going for, my, uh, for the walk and I'm getting all these texts about, you know, Israel hitting Iran, the uh, cyber attack from China, and then the fucking the chud people out in the street. I'm like, yo, it's fucking on, man. It's fucking on. So, it, and it's only going to get worse. Callie is, someone said... Callie is gay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah, listen. Out of control, man. And I'm going to do more. I want to do more live streams when I'm outside. So maybe we'll, we'll capture a crackhead or two stirring about. We'll see those people, the chud people acting up. I definitely want to get that out of the way. Because it's fun to see. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. Because me explaining is not going to do anything. Michael X says, I hate Callie. <laughs> Holy shit. He's been ripping into Cali for the last, like, three or four uh, comments. I, 
I came right through. Yeah, listen. The shit is on. And here's the other thing, guys. Back to the, sorry, the border. I'm sorry. I, I sidetracked from that. The border needs to be protected. And it cannot be protected by politicians. They don't want anything to do with it. Those guys are sidestepping every, every law that's supposed to protect us. That's in play to keep people from breaking the law and entering this country. They are ignoring because they turn around and go, well, federal guidelines and federal this and federal that. But the Constitution is the only law you need. Uh, yeah, I had a tetanus. I think so. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I had a tetanus shot unless my fucking. Yeah, I have a tetanus shot. But anyway. And these guys are sidestepping every obligation to the American people that they have. And they're letting these people come in. There are so many things you can do to negate migrants from coming here or illegal immigrants from coming here. So many things. You could stand by the border with fire extinguishers, for example. Just an idea. An ABC fire extinguisher at that. An ABCD fire extinguisher. And just as they come across the wired fence... Just start hitting them with the, the cam, right in the face, right in the fucking face. Every time they get too close to the wire, right in the face. Obviously, if you do that, you have to be armed, but so that you don't make anybody never come back from that, you hit them in the face with the, with the dry cam. There is a lot of things that can be done, and again, Politicians sidestep like you wouldn't believe. I don't understand, guys, how we got here. How we have a border that's so wide the fuck open that every politician or every bordering state, and I think there's only two or three, right? Uh, what is that? California, Arizona, Texas. Bordering, um, bordering the state. Bordering the country. And then you have Florida from those that are coming across the... Uh, the Gulf, then you have them coming into California. I, I know some of you have seen that video of them driving the boat right onto the beach. I was like, what the fuck, man? Um, and all of this is happening and nothing's being done. And to... Yes, bear spray would work too. Wasp spray would work with a farther reach. Anything, guys, that has a decent reach. I watched a video of an illegal immigrant cutting barbed wire and the National Guardsman is just standing there watching him. And that's where the National Guardsman takes out his pepper spray and sprays him. You don't got to go crazy, just a little, little right in the face. Man, that dude's going to be rolling around in that fucking dirt and then he's going to put dirt in his face because he's going to be, he's gonna, it's going to burn so much he's going to throw sand in his eyes and he's going to complicate the matter. And that's going to be awesome. But um, there's a lot that can be done. A lot that can be done. Militias can go back to the front line and do that shit. There's a lot of things that, that California, Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico. Thank you for that, uh, the Roman prepper. Right? And again, all you have to do, man, is sit there and just fucking in the face with some dry chem. Bear spray. Hell, get capsaicin. Make your own fucking mace. Pepper spray. Yeah, we don't want to do landmines just yet. But, but, the other side of that coin, guys, is that, might as well, because I'm already fucking saying it, is the cartel has to be dealt with immediately. The cartel is half the problem. They are funding a lot of these people crossing the border. They are at the borders with firearms ready to rock and fucking roll. The cartel has to be met with equal firepower. The cartels here in the United States, they have to be met with equal firepower. If people see that the American people are not scared of the cartel or the migrants, the illegal immigrants, things can be done and things can change. But until that happens, the floodgates are going to be open and these people are going to come here mercifully. They're going to come here with no care in the world, with no hesitation. And that's the thing, uh, Tana Rich, you can stop 
the bleeding. You can't cure the problem, but you can slow it down. So let me pull up the Israel. Israel. Is that who you were? Is that who you were here for? What movie is that from? If anybody can, can identify that. All right, all right, all right. So let's go. Articles are starting to flow in. Is that who you were here for, Israel? It's one of my favorite movies, but then they came out with a sequel and they tanked it. Anyway, Israel launches missile strike into Iran in response to Tehran attack Sunday. Tehran's attack Sunday. So, no, please don't do this to me. All right. Israel military conducted missile strike against Iran. A senior U.S. military official told NPR on Thursday. That's today. There are also reports of explosions in Iraq and Syria. This is where it gets worse. If they, in fact, guys, attacked Iraq and Syria, it is fucking on. Anyway. The strike appears to be a response Israel vowed to carry out after Iranian attack on Sunday where Tehran fired hundreds of drones, missiles, and rockets at Israel. Most of Iran's, Iran's volleys were intercepted or caused little damage, the U.S. military official spokesman on conditions of amenity Thursday. Amenity Thursday, sorry. Iran's FAR news agency says explosions are heard in central city of Isfahan, 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 sorry, according to Reuters news agency, the extent of Israel's strike and weapon use weren't clear. The U.S. and other Western allies have been urging Israel to forego a military strike to avoid a regional conflict spiraling out of the Israel-Hamas war, or conflict springing out of it. So again, guys, Benjamin Netanyahu is out of control. If every other country told you to hold it down, back down, chill out, and you said, fuck it, we're going to do it anyway, Israel should now be on their own. There should be no help. There should be no backing up. There should be no blocking missiles for them. Israel, you should, the United States should tell Israel to go fuck himself at this point. Now, again, their response after October 6th was appropriate. That was their appropriate response. But after that, they were going bananas. And some people were like, it was still an appropriate response. All right. But now, you're firing rockets at Iraq and Syria? You lost your fucking mind. Benjamin Netanyahu has to be taken out. That is as simple as it gets. There is no reason why this guy is fucking pulling the shit he's pulling, and then still using October 7th as his reasoning for doing it. Anyway. I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The concer those concerns rose when an airstrike, which Iran blamed on Israel, killed two Iranian military commanders in the country's consulate in Damascus, Syria, on April 1st. Iran says Sunday's attack on Israel was in response to that. So now, what's going on is that Iran and, and Israel are going to go back and forth with the bullshit. They're like, well, they, they bombed us, so we got to bomb them. And then Israel's going, well, they bombed us, so we got to bomb them back. And it's going to be a back and forth. And now Syria and I Iraq is going to join in. Well, Israel bombed us, so we got to bomb them. What the fuck, man? Seriously. Mike Boogaloo said, nice knowing you, AP. Yeah, I guess, man. But enough's enough. When other countries are telling you to back it down, and these are the countries that are backing you up, maybe you should fucking listen. Just maybe. You know? Uh, someone said, you lost your mind. Israel will defend it herself. There's a difference between defending yourself and getting carried the fuck away. And this is getting carried away... If, in fact, they hit Iraq and Syria. And again. And again, guys. 
here's the here's the truth that the fact of the matter is we are once again siding with israel why why are we siding with israel why are we siding with iran why are we siding with palestine we're siding with countries who have power have political power over their people who continuously strip their people of every and all rights all these countries they keep their people down they keep their people scared they give their people the illusion of freedom and choice and we sit here thinking that it's all good when it's not we have the illusion guys that we're free in this fucking country and we're really not we really don't own land in this country we really don't own our firearms because at any given moment guys they could drop the fucking hammer you got the same shit going on in Israel. You got the same shit going on in Iran. And here we are sticking up for Benjamin Netanyahu's bullshit. We're sitting here protecting Palestine's bullshit. It is all bullshit, guys. And the guy that just said, you sound like a rhino, you could definitely eat my dick. Because I'm seeing through the bullshit that this is. How come both of these countries keep telling us when they're going to strike and how they're going to strike. Oh, we're going to have a limited strike. We might strike here and there. They're giving each other a heads up. Uh, Roy said, I got to unsubscribe. Then unfucking subscribe. Because I am not going to sit here and fucking side with any of these fuck faces. This is, and scripture or not, guys, the people in charge. Are not for the scripture. And if you believe that, you're about as stupid as the day is long. These people are not about scripture, they're about money, revenge, greed, and destroying people's lives. That's who these people are. And as soon as you recognize that, the better off you'll be. Because none of these fucking people are innocent. Iran's not innocent. Not the shit they do to their people. Israel's not fucking innocent. Syria, forget about it. And Iraq, you got to be fucking kidding me. Palestine, the worst. None of these fucking people, guys, are fucking innocent. And if you fucking clowns stop fucking siding with these fucking jerk-offs, you'd be better off. The one thing that we need to focus on is we need to focus on the people. The people are all that matter because the people are who make the world go round. Politicians will continue to lie to us, guys. They will continue to tell us there's nothing we could do about the immigration. There's, there's, there's nothing we could do about the, the gun laws changing. We can't change them back. How many fucking times have we heard that? We keep falling for the bullshit, and this is the bullshit they want us to fall for. And this is the bullshit that they want us to fucking be divisive on and separated on. This shit here. And you guys, congratulations, fall for it all the time oh my god he's talking about israel i gotta go all right twat muffin bounce i do not give a fuck because the bottom line is i'm seeing through this shit like fucking a clear window you can't tell me guys that these fucking morons who are playing this out like what is that called battleship Calling out the locations before they strike. Get the fuck out of here. This is all bullshit. And then we got a president who said that his uncle was eaten by cannibals. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. We have... Guys, the world has gone stupid. Stupid. I've never seen... Google censorship, you can't get rid of me that easy. Well, thank you for sticking around. Uh, the, the, guys, I've never seen the stupidity that we're seeing. It's out of fucking control, man. I mean, we... we guys, we... I, I lost over a thousand subscribers because I motherfucked Putin. Vladimir Putin, the piece of shit that he is. The game that he's also playing. People act like he's innocent and he's righteous. Not one politician, guys, in power is righteous because if they were righteous they would work for the fucking people and not for their pockets i don't know how many times i need to say this shit but these politicians give us 
the illusion of freedom and choice. When it comes election season, guys, for example, Putin, he brings up oppositions just so that there's an illusion that you have a choice. When you don't, he's your president. This next election, it's, it's definitely going to look like we have a choice, and we don't. We really don't have a choice. Alvin, thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate it. It is all bullshit. The sooner you people realize that, guys, the better off you'll be and the better off, sorry, the better decisions you'll start making in defending this country and getting off our asses and defending this country. And that's the other thing. Uh, thank you, Elaine, Elon, 2026. Fucking Biden is a thousand years old. Why in the fuck are we voting for a guy who's a thousand years old? This guy probably shook hands with fucking Jesus. He's so fucking old. I've never seen anything that old before. He looked like he's already dead. And he's just moving his mouth like Weekend at Bernie's. Speaking of Weekend at Bernie's, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to do an article, not an article, but a, a quick thing on it. This lady in Brazil took her dead uncle, I think it was, rolled him into a bank like Weekends at Bernie's and tried to, sign off, and tried to have her dead uncle sign off on a loan. The guy... Who was dead <laughs> looked like Biden. I was like, oh my God, is this stunt double? But it wasn't a stunt double. But it looked like a stunt double, but it wasn't. Yeah, Tony Donza. Trump's not Jesus. Trump is playing the game too. You guys are going to be sorely disappointed with Trump this time around when he gets in office. Sorely disappointed. I'm sorry to tell you, but... Yeah, once I'm, I'm bald. How many people didn't know I was bald? I'm bald-headed. I got no hair. I lost all my fucking hair because of my kids. No, not because of my kids. Lost my hair. No, actually, my, my oldest was born when I started losing my hair. But it wasn't because of him. But anyway, um, guys, it's, it's, it's enough already. We need to take back the fucking world. Forget the country, the world. Because people are relying on politicians who keep promising us things that they never fulfill. They don't. They go after the low-hanging fruit, the bullshit. We got fucking crackheads or drug addicts, as it is, shitting in the streets. In the streets, guys. That's not dog shit I'm seeing on the street. It's people shit. And the mayor's like, there's nothing I can do about that. But if I go ahead and beat somebody up and rub his face in his own shit, I go to jail? James, thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate it. It's enough already. It, 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 it's enough already when people side with politicians. Matt, man, thank you for the donation. I, I don't understand it. I, again, guys, you guys are going to be sorely disappointed with fucking with Trump. I fucking, I promise you this. I promise you this. And the problem is, guys, Trump can't fix a lot of the things going on. He just can't. <laughs> No, I did not lose my hair because of, wait, did I lose my hair because of 9-11? Maybe, maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did, because I did have hair during 9-11. I had dreads during 9-11. But anyway, let's not get into that. Uh, yeah, yeah, Trump can't do anything, guys. He can't fix shit. There's nothing he can do. Um, he's going to bend the knee to a lot of the shit that's coming his way. He's going to make promises he can't fulfill. That wall that he wants to build... He ain't going to build that wall. He didn't get to build it the first time. I know he built part of it. And I know that Tucker Carlson, who I'm, I'm very worried of Tucker Carlson these days, too. I don't trust that man. He's switching his views. And it seems like he's switching his views in a dangerous direction. And I, and I think I know why, but I have to wait till he starts talking more. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, Jason Ford. It, it, I don't have to pick anybody because Trump isn't going to cure the problem and Trump's going to sell us out. I, I'm already seeing the signs of him selling us out. And Trump is our only choice. That's the other problem. He's the only choice we have. We have nobody else. Nobody. Uh, Michael Lex. Yeah, he, he built 50% of it or, or, or 40%. I know the percentage he built. But still, Trump is already starting to backpedal on a couple things, and I'm worried about that. Tucker Carlson, 
he he started backpedaling on some shit, and I'm like, not backpedaling, but switching his views. Alex Jones and Tucker, and that's yeah, uh, Mike, yeah, Mike, and that's the other thing I noticed that he he's praising Putin way too much now. That's what that was the red flag I started seeing, and again, guys, I think Tucker Carlson is going to start swaying people into liking Putin more. Something is up, and I am not fucking feeling it. There's a shift in the media and certain places putting Putin on a pedestal. I'm not liking it, and I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it just yet until I get more information and or confirmation. But yeah, I'm not liking it, like, at all. And that's the thing, man. I don't know, man. I'm... I'm just disappointed in a lot of the shit that I'm seeing. And I guess my disappointment is coming through fucking loud and clear. But, yeah. This ain't looking good. And RT News is all latent shit. Israel launches missiles at Iran. That was like fucking an hour or two hours ago now. RT News is just getting getting to us. But I don't know, man. Hey, Listen. There's a lot of problems that are easily fixed, and politicians. And listen, okay, look, maybe maybe I got this wrong. Maybe politicians are lazy. Maybe they're lazy. Maybe they're hiding behind federal rules and regulations so they don't have to do anything, because the shit that they have to get done, guys, requires a lot of legwork, a lot of paperwork, a lot of writing, a lot of standing up in front of uh, committees, and maybe they don't want to do that. And so maybe. Just maybe, they're being lazy bags of shits. There is that. There is the lazy factor that I forgot to mention. But there's something going on with a lot of this shit, guys. I think people are shifting gear. Uh, no, I haven't had to punch anyone in the face today. But I have been coming close. That just means I'm going to get into a scrap soon. Again, some of the shit out there that's out of control, guys. The, 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 the scooters on the sidewalk. I'm clotheslining somebody before the summer's over. That is actually on my, my, uh, my dream list. <laughs> my dream sheet. Clothesline a guy on a moped. But boom And they always and the thing is, when they're on the sidewalk, it's not like they're rolling slowly on the sidewalk, which that still pisses me off, and I still curse at them anyway, like the old man I am. But clotheslining them is like, that's on my fucking forte. Because you shouldn't be on a sidewalk anyway, right? And uh, and a lot of the times when they go speeding by, they come close to hit me a half dozen times. Uh, Wanda, no, you're right. They are they, they're probably bought off for as well. But there's a lazy aspect to it, right? There's got to be. Listen, the chaos that's the chaos that's descending upon this country. It's going to be something we have never, ever seen in this entire country's history. Ever. There is something on the horizon for this country and this country alone that's going to make things way fucking worse. There are guys I know right now getting their concealed carry because they also see what's coming. And things are going to get a whole hell of a lot bad. And when the migrants, guys, the gangs, the illegal gangs, take hold, there's going to be gunfights in the streets between citizens and gang members. I thought we had time with the gangs, but they are here and they're in full force. So it's time to start fucking reacting accordingly. Ron, uh, I agree with you. It's all done by design. The WEF, One World Government, let's create chaos in this country. Come in as the peace and savior. Save America from itself under the governmental guide of the WEF. That's what it's got to be. There's no other reason, guys, why every politician in this country is sidestepping their duties to protect this country. Doesn't make any sense. 
But then you start looking at the WF, you start looking at the one world government, you start looking at these diseases popping up all over the place. They want chaos. Gang, uh, Michael X, gang equals government, but in New York City, gang means gang. There are dudes running around here, tatted up, acting like they're bosses. And people are going to have to put them in their place. That's including myself. Because unfortunately, guys, cops are not doing a fucking thing about it because they're hiding behind the NYPD, not the individual officers. But the NYPD is hiding behind the, we can't do anything, federal laws. Fuck them. Fuck them all. If you can't help us, don't stand in our way. That is the bottom line. And that is my message to any and every police officer out there. If you are not going to fucking help, stay out of the fucking way. When the pain fucking starts, I don't want to see fucking citizens or innocent people getting locked up for protecting themselves. Stay out of the fucking way. Stand down. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Turn your back. Turn your body camera off. Whatever needs to be done because that is the direction we are headed in. It's just going to get a whole hell of a lot of worse. And it's everything piling on at once. And again... The one side of me is not worried about it because I know it needs to be done. We know it needs to be done. So we're going to do it. We're going to do what needs to be done to protect what needs to be protected. That's it. Uh, Joe FW. Yeah, I saw that. The Golden Gate Bridge. Wait, did they shut it down again? Because I know the other day they did. They shut it down. And listen, again. You want to be a speed bump? By all fucking means, stand in front of my car, please. Stand in front of it. Do what you do best and become a speed bump. Because that's where we are right now. We're allowing idiots to run this country. We're allowing politicians to run this country. We're allowing migrants to run over the American way of life. And steal. And close down stores because their stealing is affecting the stores financial bottom line, which is then turn closing down stores. Now, we had our own idiots stealing, American citizens, stealing from Rite Aid and CVS, and CVS and Rite Aids are closing down stores all over America. In fact, one of the two are closing down 500 more stores because they can't keep up with the theft. Now, migrants are stealing from Home Depot, Lowe's, of the hardware shops and selling the shit on the street as you saw earlier. This is just going to get a whole hell of a lot worse and things have to be done. Becoming your own first responder, that's going to be it as well. You're going to have to learn how to stop bleeds too as well. Penny, I see your comment. At least in the chat I see your comment. Michael X, uh, yeah, Biden fucked everything up. I mean, things were already sort of on the downslide. And, and though Trump was leveling shit out, Biden just fucking tanked it. Biden pulled a ripcord and was like, fuck it, everybody dies. Because that's, where, that's what they, they did with him. They put this moron. Uh, Building Jones said, Israel is firing at Iran, y'all. Yeah, we know. We know. This is going to be a long night for them or morning. Morning? Morning for them. It's going to be a long morning for them. Yeah, Wizard. Local crackheads have been doing it, but now the migrants are taking over and they're, they're tripling the effect, if you will, right? So when our crackheads, our personal crackheads, Jamal and the gang, were stealing all cracked island shit, that was Jamal and his 16 guys. Well, now you got Pedro and Pablo and his 32, 64 dudes behind them stealing shit. You should go to your local Home Depot if you live in New York City area, around the five boroughs. Go to the Home Depot there. Look how many migrants are looking for work. Shit is getting bad. And they're going in the store and stealing because no one is doing anything about it. And it's only going to get worse. Anatoris or Treus said, Iran, Iraq, Syria, triple attack. Yeah. Like I said, guys, this is going to get interesting. A whole hell of a lot more interesting. 
we haven't seen anything like this in a long fucking time. Or ever, rather. Ever. At least not in our lifetime. Uh, AJ, that is my whole point. We need to stop worrying about the international bullshit. I'm not worried about what's going on over there as much as, though that can turn sideways, get us involved even more, start sending troops, and then start the, uh, the draft. Because the draft is up. People, they're going to start drafting. James says you're just paranoid about Trump. Uh, James, Osborne, I hope you're right. I hope I'm just paranoid. But I can read people better than fucking people read themselves. I am a people reader. That's what I've done. It's one when I was a, a messenger, bike and foot. And I deal with people on a daily basis. I read people, and I'm and, and when people do certain things, it raises my antennas, and Trump has my antennas raised. Though, I do appreciate the fact that he came down here to Washington Heights to visit the store owner who stabbed the other guy who was beating him up. If you remember that, um, there was a, a store owner that was getting beat up by a patron, if you will, because his girlfriend was stealing chips. And so she said, I'm calling my boyfriend. The boyfriend came down, started smacking the fucking uh, store clerk, not store on the store clerk around, started smacking the store clerk around, and the store clerk knifed him a couple times. And he was dead. So anyway, store clerk got off on self-defense. There was video from a couple angles showing it was pure self-defense. Trump went to visit that guy, but that guy's been in DR ever since that whole situation unfolded. Or rather, when he got released from jail, because I think Adams forced brags to release him from jail he went back to dr so trump came all the way down here to new york city washington heights to visit that man that man should be honored but nonetheless i still have my 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 antennas up about trump right now and the the not trusting trump antenna is up hopefully i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong because we need something to stop this bleeding in this country something And that's the thing, too, guys. When Trump came here to Harlem, people were showing him love in Harlem. I'm sorry, Washington Heights. People were showing the man love. There was a turnout that the media will not show you. They were focused on him and him going into the store. But if you looked outside behind the cameras, there were people supporting Trump. So believe it or not, the tides have changed. There are a lot of people who are voting for Trump in the ghetto, if you will, in Harlem. But, um, yeah, listen, it's all fucking, it's all not looking good. It doesn't matter what happens. Trump gets in office, guys. Like I said, he will stop the bleeding. He is not, he's going to slow the bleeding down. He's not going to stop it. Peekaboo said, free Palestine from Hamas and Zionists. I listen, I don't care about Palestine. If tomorrow Palestine was wiped off the map, I would not give a fuck. If Syria, Iran, Israel were wiped off the map, Jordan, Egypt wiped off the map, I would not give a fuck. We have to worry about our people first. Let's worry about Americans first. Let's worry about the situation we're in with all of these illegals crossing the border. That's what we need to be worried about first. Fuck everybody else. When we fix our problem, then maybe, just maybe, we'll go out and lend a helping hand. But that's it. We don't need to be buying people weapons and giving them, like the Ukraine. Fuck Ukraine. If Ukraine got wiped off the map, fuck them. If Russia imploded tomorrow, great. If China had an earthquake that shook all of those Chinese people right into the ocean, awesome. I would be wholeheartedly behind all of that. We do not need to be worried about anybody else's other country. We need to be worried about us and us only. People need to stop with this. You got to support Israel and, and putting up the fucking stupid flag bullshit. And I stand with Israel. I stand with Palestine. Well, why don't you go to fuck the Israel and Palestine and stand there with them? Put your money where your mouth is and go. If not, stand with America, worry about American problems first, let's get this shit fucking fixed forthwith, 
And then we worry about everybody else. I agree with you, D. And I don't know if that's your D, right? Yeah, for all foreign aid should stop immediately. We shouldn't be paying anybody anything. Nothing. Fuck them. I don't care if Mobutu is asking for a grain of rice. Fuck Mobutu. Kick him to the curb. Goodbye, Mobutu. I don't want to hear fucking an African nation needing money. I don't want to hear the fucking Indians talking about, you know, the fucking, oh, we need more 7-Elevens. I don't need, don't give a fuck. Stop giving everyone money and let's fix our situation first. Let's stop having gas cost $10.00. As Michael X said in California, let's stop having a fucking gallon of milk cost five to six dollars. Let's stop that shit first. Let's stop fucking paying a forty dollar meal that cost twenty dollars a year or two ago. Let's stop that shit first. Let's worry about our pockets and our well being. Let's stop fucking worrying about Alejandro in fucking Central America. Fuck him and his kids. Fuck him. We don't need to fucking be worried about any of these fucking people. We need to be worried about us first. And nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody wants to side with the, all the other countries. Everybody wants to wave their flags. Oh my God, I'm for this country. You bag of shit, then go there and support that country. Because these are the same people that turn around and go, fuck the government, fuck America, burn flags. I'm like, what? How the fuck did we get here? How do we get to chanting death to America when you're in America? How the fuck did we get there? And we allowing that to happen? It's crazy, man. It's out of fucking control. Out of control. And meanwhile, guys, my ranting is going to fall upon deaf ears. Because no one gives a fuck. I can go out there tomorrow and hose down a bunch of protesters with fucking fire extinguishers. No one's going to give a fuck. The only thing they're going to care about is angry Negro firefighter gets arrested for spraying... Palestinian protesters. Oh my God. Please don't, Mike, don't even get me started with the fucking next, what is it, next month? No, the month after next. June? That bullshit month? Oh my God. That's coming. That is fucking on the horizon. They're going to start pushing that bullshit in a minute. All the gays are going to come out and they're fucking gay bullshit. They're like, we need to have more trans kids tap dance for us in our parade. We're good there. I, I, they're probably going to have a section, if they don't already, of little trans kids marching in a gay parade. I can fucking feel it. It's, it's in my dad. My spider senses are tingling. It's coming. It's fucking coming. But it's, it's, it, that month is coming. That's going to be a horrendous month. That's going to be another thing we have to deal with. We're going to deal with World War Three. We're going to deal with cyber attacks, and we got to deal with Pride Month. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? It's fucking all coming together, man. Come June, it's going to all fall apart. Homos are going to be fucking running around, fucking homoing and shit, you know? They're going to be dragging their little trans kids along. Look at my kid. That's not Derek. That's Derica. They added A next to it to make it a chick. That fucking poor kid's going to be cutting his dick off and then fucking eating a bullet when he's 21 years old when he realizes, shit, I shouldn't have cut my dick off. You know? Fucking people. Jonathan, thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate it. But like I said before, guys, it's all falling apart, and we need to focus on just us. Just this country. Just for a change. We just need to focus on us just for a little bit, man. You know? Like, we don't... <sighs> It's like I said, it's just going to get fucking, it's going to get worse if we don't focus on us first. Forget about everybody else. Forget about all the bullshit out there. Forget about who's getting bombed and, and how many kids are getting destroyed. Doesn't fucking matter. They keep using kids as chess pieces, by the way. For those of you that uh, don't realize that yet, every time a kid gets hurt, they're like, look, little Muhammad. Muhammad is hurt now. And people go, oh, no, Muhammad is hurt, you know? And then, then we all run to Muhammad, and, and we're like, oh, oh, Israel, you know? And, and they use the kids as fucking chess pieces. And people don't see that bullshit. That's why I say fuck them. I'm like, listen, I'm not that heartless, but I also don't give a fuck. 
Muhammad's not here. Muhammad's over there with his little flying carpet. Let that bullshit and that stay over there. We got kids over here we need to be worried about. We got kids over here that are getting kidnapped on a daily basis, disappearing into the sex trafficking industry. And we're worried about fucking Juan, Muhammad, and Isabella. And I listen, I agree. We have to save kids, but we got to start with our kids first. Our kids here come first. Then we worry about everybody else's. But anyway, that being said, I am going to go off the air. I might do a live stream tomorrow night as well. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, guys, this is all fucking, this is all shit. And we have to fucking, we have to do something. Something's got to be done. Something's got to be, Greg, I, I'll probably be on tomorrow, but this was last minute. Um, and Fatima, someone say that, Fatima. But yeah, listen, anyway. With that being, and listen, guys, that doesn't mean, like, if I see Muhammad in the street, I'm going to give Muhammad a fucking nickel or a dollar. I can't give him a nickel anymore. The nickel's not worth anything. I might have to give him a dollar to go get some fucking chips or some shit and quarter water. And a quarter water is not even a quarter water anymore. It's like fucking a dollar now or some shit. It's all too expensive now. You can't even give homeless people the money you used to give them anymore because they look at you like, really, nigga? A dollar? You know, like, it, it isn't worth anything. Even Muhammad will fucking throw the dollar back at me. I can't get anything with this. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I'll see you guys possibly tomorrow night. Good night.